Hello everyone, this is Jade and we are back with Mercury Fallen. We're gonna go ahead and get these guys moving. This is a back-to-back -back from the last episode. Oh look, and they actually got this bed built. That is awesome. So we will get Chuck that bed. So now they all have beds. Um, they need walls, I suppose. I guess we should probably give them some walls, huh? So we will do that. Um, again, I don't know how big the doors are. I kind of would like to give them maybe two exits, but I don't know. We'll see. If the doors only take up one spot, then I am going to be uneven and yeah. Oh, well, can't believe, do we have to, we all have doors. We have doors. <laughs> Okay, so a door is only one wide. All right, not a big deal. Uh, I probably don't have what I need to make a door though. Or do I have to put it? No. All right, well, what do we need to make a door? Okay, we need 15 of whatever that stuff is. And we need to run more more power underneath these. That's kind of neat how that works. You can see it kind of shift a little bit. Because this is pretty much we would consider it's all underground. Okay. So we're still looking on that. Okay, so we're very close we can get our batteries, hopefully, hopefully. So I don't know what else we need in the science room. All right, well, that's the only thing you guys got. So um, is the bed. What are we gonna need when we build these batteries? Oh, we need an ore refinery. Um, so refinery floor. I guess that could go in there. I'm wondering if we should just make another room for that. Um, oh, here we can get our batteries. Batteries, please. Thank you. <laughs> so let's see here. Small battery. Well, that's all we got, but... It's going to be better than nothing. Uh, well, where do we have our stuff running now? So I'm probably better off putting it over here. We'll run that that way. And then we can put batteries right there. Okay, now we need ore refinery, which I guess we'll put over here. Let's get this wall out of the way. If I can keep it off the floors. Now I'm really curious as how far over I am thinking that we've got to be hitting the edge of the map <laughs> like really soon. But again, the hope is that with this, it gives us plenty of room to find and dig. And we still have quite a ways to go. That'll keep, oh, no. Okay, why can't I mine that? I guess, okay. All right, well, that was kind of weird, but okay. Now let's get this bit out of here. All right. So how are we doing on our crops? Our crops seem to be doing fine. We seem to be, do I not have, I thought that I had a thing up here that would tell me 
So I can look at power, I can look at water. Well, we don't need water just yet. We'll just set this off this way. And then we'll get ready to be able to put doors in over there. And I guess that'll work out that way. And probably the same over here. We just have a wall here because that's where the machines are. Uh-oh. Chuck Vela failed to craft cloth. Recipe materials have been lost in the process. So she's a level three scientist, level three builder. Okay, can I clear these out of here? Yes. Just right click. All right. So get these batteries going. Are we still at night? Yeah. Okay, so we're at night. So hopefully tomorrow they will do all that. What is this? Complex machines capable of performing some human duties. So I'm not finding anything else here. Uh, we've not really run across anything too exciting. We can get some water from here. So when we get the ability to do like a kitchen or something, but we're almost up to 98 here. What are we going to be able to do with that? We, well, that's 150 and that's 150 and that's 250 tech printing coal power generator. So that's 300. That's going to be a lot of research. It's going to take us a while. I think before we can actually get up here to be able to use that. Oh, good. We've got all the beds built. Now, I wish we'd find somebody else. So what else do we need to build? I wonder if we should go ahead and get some more. Should we get some more? You've got 79 potatoes. It's like, I think you've got enough potatoes. Um, I guess we're going to need to get these ore processing up and going. So what do we need for that? We're going to need refinery floor. So we'll put that, I don't know how much we're going to need. And we'll start off with that. And I guess we'll, I guess kind of do the same. Cause they're going to need to have a place to put stuff. So if we put that up in here and then we can maybe put the refinery over here. So, or refinery, we have this face in the right direction. Looks like it. So we'll put one there and we'll do, we'll start off with two of them. And then we'll, we can run this this way and we'll have it ready for another one. Whoops. Okay. So are we actually storing power now? Yes, we are. Yay. Okay. <laughs> We're definitely going to need more batteries, but at least for now we've got some power stored, which is good. Um, we've got no water, but we'll worry about that soon um plumbing and that might be a thing to take though i i don't know so we've got the opportunity okay so we've got plumbing and we've got recreation uh because this is double but we need ore processing I know they need research. What does that give them? A chair, a bench, and recreation floor. But I think for now, 
water may be important. That's going to lead into medical and food prep. Uh, recreation just leads into decor and fine dining, which I think right now we need to worry about getting this stuff going. Oh, fishing. Okay. Food processing. Aeroponics. Okay. Xenobiology. And yeah, we get into cloning. I guess that's how we, we get uh, new uh, new people. But for now, what do we get with plumbing? We get a water pump and we get water conduit. Okay, so perfect way to get water to machines in need. Um, it has to be built on water, which we have. But is there any other reason? I don't know that there's any other reason for it at the moment. Because we really don't have anything else for it. Okay, people. High priority, that thing. That's what I want you to build. And you're over there building walls. Okay, why are you building walls? Never mind. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I probably don't have what I need. Uh, we need structure resin. Okay. So you build structure resin. So you're going to do structure resin. And I wonder, maybe we should just keep 50 of it. I don't know. Till we find out. And we'll have this one do bioplastic and we'll do the same for now it may be a bit much and cloth so basically keep 50 in supply so we're probably because i think everything no this needs a mineral compound but everything else needs hemp. So we're probably going to want to build. We've only got 18 hemp. I think we better put some more crops down. And we better do hemp. So I don't know if there are um, anything like an event that causes issues with plants. So I don't know if these need to be spaced out more, but for now we're gonna leave them this way. This is a live and learn. <laughs> what do we want here? We're gonna do some hemp in these. Now, how are we doing on potatoes? We still have 81 potatoes. So potatoes seem to be okay um, at this point. So, but I want to make sure that we have enough hemp since this is what we need for making so much stuff. Okay. So another reason I like to come into some of these blind also, um, I don't know if I've mentioned it. Uh, you know, you probably should not be doing this stuff. Um, is because if by some odd chance the developer would happen to wander across the videos, because I know sometimes they do look, um, this might give them an idea of, you know, maybe either I'm dumb, which is <laughs> very possible, um, or it's like maybe this could be explained better. Oh, you know, that might be a little hard to understand. Maybe I can clarify this a little bit, or maybe I can do something a little bit differently. And it's kind of nice to figure things out. Like I said, I don't like to go in with, uh, you know, the perfect plan. That's why I like RimWorld. And that's probably another one we need to get back to, even though I'm not that, that great at it. It's like my stuff. If, if you want everything to go perfect, I'm not, I'm not the person to be watching. Okay, you're a level three miner, huh? Good for the robot. What do we got here? 
So we can do recreation or we can just let these build up a bit. What does tech printing do anyway? More advanced component creation, which is probably something we're going to need. Obviously, assemble, let's see, lab floor for stuff, tech printer, brain fog, vehicle construction. So we're going to need to go down this way to get to the vehicle construction, probably to be able to send them out to the circuit. Oh, 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 we got food prep <laughs> and medical. Oh, that's tough. Um, that costs 200. Oh, this is going to give us cooked potatoes, a kitchen floor, a refrigerator, in a cooking station. And this will give us, let's see, a med bay floor, a medical cabinet, and a medi bed. Well, I, I think food might be a good idea to go with. <laughs> um, and maybe we can put the kitchen over here. I think the kitchen's gonna need water. Oh, I think we've hit the top of the map. <laughs> okay. Well, we could... Okay, come on. Now, I can see it there. I don't know if there's anything here, but we're just going to mark it. Whoops, or not. Okay. Okay, this is like off. Okay, come on. Uh, you know, whatever. Just, 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 just stop. <laughs> there. So we'll put the kitchen over here because then at least it's close by here. I mean, eventually we'll probably have this all walled in. I mean, it's this point, it kind of seems like, why bother? Because, you know, if there's nothing going on, but we just leave everything wide open. But here we've got kitchen floor. This is going to have to be wall. Let's go ahead and, and probably start that. We'll make this wall. Um, put some kitchen floor. Because I think they need... Um, uh, probably a specific spot to get. Why do you do that? No. Give me floor. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Let me try that again. I don't want to go all the way down there. So we'll do that. Okay, so he must just be placing the stuff. Is that what he's doing? And getting ready to build. Okay, that's exactly what he's doing. So then we're going to need a cooking station. So we're going to need water. We need this bioplastic stuff. And it needs a two by two. And we're going to have to pump water into it. Um, well, I suppose if we put that there, don't we have a refrigerator? At least I thought we were supposed to have a refrigerator. It's a water pump. An elevator. So the water pump's got to go on water.
So we'll put that there. Hopefully that is in an okay spot. And then we can run this up to here. And then we can have wall. Because we like walls. And I don't know how big this needs to be. But again, we'll just start off this way. And we may have to move these. <laughs> because they're probably blocking the entrance. But, oh well. Now again, I don't know if I, I would just wish I could click and drag them. But I think all this is doing is just clicking on the dirt. So I will probably have to build another one and then deconstruct. Oh, there's a refrigerator for storage. Okay. See, I knew we had a refrigerator. So we'll put that one right there. And then we're going to have to run some power down that way. We really need some power generation. How much? We got 200 research points. So not quite there yet. But if we run from the batteries, um, I should probably do that. That way that keeps him up there. And then we're going to have to run because I'm assuming that the refrigerator probably needs power as well. And let's see about moving these, I guess. Um, we may actually have to move the plants too at some point. But once I get that built, then like we'll deconstruct we're only taking up one of 600. So you know what? Um, let's just deconstruct that now. And then we'll prioritize that one. And do we not have any power run into these yet? Okay, because are you just not able to get back there, perhaps? Is that the problem? All right, well, let's see. I guess that could be. Oops. Um, so they didn't build this one. Well, what if we just take it around this way. Now I'd like to be able to undo that. But if I just click on power, will that let me get rid of that? No. I mean, that's kind of what I'd like to do, but you know what? We're just going to leave it. I was kind of hoping they could get around there, but I, I have a feeling that they, they just, they, maybe they can't reach it. Oops. Okay. So what do we have here now? Okay. So now we have a coal powered generator. So I think that that is probably the important thing to take that we need tech printing as well, but we're going to, we're going to take that. Um, probably should get the med bed too at some point, but they need to get over there and get that built. What did we tell them to? Okay. Prioritize that. So we'll go ahead and put another one here and then, cause we got a bunch of potatoes in there. So at least they're getting this going and we should be able to have some cooking going on. 
I think this is where the prepared food goes. Oh no, stores raw food ingredients in the kitchen. So do we have anything for seeds and crops, general purpose container, and a large, okay, so non-food items, stores raw food. So is there anything that actually stores prepared food? Because according to this, it's just raw food. And these are just crops and seeds in a larger container for storing raw material. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. So we're going to have to go ahead. Let's see and get this started. Craft if below, um, I guess 200. And this one, I don't think we have anything else we can do with this, do we? No, iron ingots, and we can do copper ingots. So we'll do the same thing with this one. Just give it craft amount. Well, no, craft if below 200. We just need to get them over here to build this stuff. And do we have the stuff? Maybe we don't have the stuff for it. Okay, stop hitting the button, please. What do we need? Okay, so you're still working on that mineral compound. Craft it below 50. All right. What is this? Why do you have this sitting here? You people are impossible. Okay. So we've got a good area here if we ever get all that going and we can probably keep the farming and stuff over here maybe. I don't know what other kind of room we have that we could like add here, but thinking down here, we might be able to add say um, the med stuff, but let's get some more mining going because we're probably going to need this, and I think that's that hematite. And let's go ahead and get this set up. What is this? Deep mine. So we need a deep driller bot, which we don't have. All right. We can actually put some lights in here, too. Do we want a standing lamp or wall lights? Well, I guess we could put a standing lamp, because I don't... Oh, wait. Um... We could put this, we got these storage containers. That might be helpful in here. Because I, the way I did that. What do we have in here? Priorities, normal, allowed items. I guess we can. All right, well, it's, that's probably fine. Do we not have stuff for this? No, we need copper ingots. So where do we get copper ingots from anyway? And why are you guys not done this power? Do we just not have, do we have the stuff or are you still working on stuff for the power? We probably need to prioritize this. Can I power it or can I prioritize? High priority. Get in here and start doing this stuff. But I, yeah, see, we need this resin. Are you actually making? No, you're making bioplates. I need you to make resin. Are you actually working on this? Certainly doesn't look like it. Um, well, we actually need somebody else, but I know we're going to need this stuff eventually. What do we got here? Well, they really want this recreation. So what does this do? 
So give them a place to sit. You know, fine. Just fine. We'll take that. Because we can build that maybe over here. So they can cook in the kitchen. Once they ever get this done. And we can take this down. And then that leaves it open. Have you not found like anything else? There's no people. You've not found any more robots. Wow. Okay. Well, let's see. We don't want to go too far over here, but we could put recreation. See, it takes stuff though. It takes this building stuff and we don't have that right now. And they're sucking up all the power. Let's pause this for the time being and we're gonna pause this for the time being and I want them to focus on getting this stuff done because this seems to be the important stuff oh what is this you guys found something else? oh what is this arrowhead fungus what do we get what do we get what do we get potatoes and a colonist log Right? Yeah, ready to do that. Okay. Log. Oh, it must be day 14. I started naming the robots. One of the robots has a malfunctioning servo. Coincidentally, after I kicked it. <laughs> it has a bit of a hop to its step now, so I've named her Bunny. I realize it's silly to infer genders to these things, but after two weeks alone, I've decided I don't care. <laughs> okay, well, now we know who Bunny is. All right. So we've got some fungus over here, too. Uh, I'll let this set this up for harvesting, I guess, huh? Hopefully somebody knows what to do with it. And let's get this out of here. I mean, like I said, that's really all we can do is, is just dig. Dig, 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 and more digging in order to find stuff. And we probably, I wonder, hallways might actually help them get where they're going faster, I suppose. But again, it requires the stuff that we need for other things right now. Okay, well, we're working on it. How are we doing? Okay, I think you guys have not built anything yet. Oops. Okay. So what do we need here? We need copper. So is this what? No. Um, I want copper. And I want you... We'll leave it at 100 at this point. And we're, we'll make this one iron. Just kind of swap them. What we probably... Do we have... Yeah, we have azurite. Okay. So that's what he needs to be doing. And we might need to get somebody else working on some of this stuff. Um, well, so we've got him building and fixing and mining. botanist you're researching let's instead of you building why don't you what do I want you to do 
you can do some engineering. What does this say about it? Job roles determine what they will and won't do, can be changed at any time. They can be assigned a primary, secondary, and tertiary. The job slot also determines job priority. A job in the primary slot will have a higher priority than a job in the secondary slot. Colonists gain experience as they perform tasks associated with a given job role. Once a colonist has generated enough experience, they will gain a level in that job role. Higher level colonists will work faster and make fewer mistakes. Okay. Well, we need somebody to start doing, yes. Thank you. We get our copper going. That is awesome. And you are repairing. Okay. And you probably need to build this, but I think that we're going to prioritize that and get that going. Um, didn't we run electricity down there? Oh, yeah, I didn't run it over to that. Okay, that seems kind of not the best way to do it, but that's the way it's going to be. And um, I'm going to add another one here just because I don't know if it's actually there. There. So hopefully they'll get going with that stuff here. Uh, what do we have in here? I suppose if we take this down, they will move it. I want, this is low priority. Let's move stuff over here. We're gonna make this one high priority. And we are not going to allow bio waste. Uh, let's see. Ooh, cave worms. Wow, look at all that stuff. Okay, so we're gonna take the hemp out. And oh man, there's a ton of seeds. Um, let's take the seeds out. So we'll leave raw food and hemp. I don't know what lumen bulbs are. We'll, we'll leave those out too. And on this one, I guess we'll allow no raw food, but I don't want, I don't think I want bio waste in there. Though I'm not exactly sure what it is. But and this one, how about for now, um, we allow nothing. So hopefully they'll move all that. And then we will we'll have to figure out. I, I'm wondering if the bio waste is like the medical. But once they get that done, then we'll we'll just move that out of there. Oh, we got 235 points. So what do we got going here? Um I guess we'll take the medical. Okay, and then uh, I guess we can build a medical bay down here, perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> we got med bay floor, but see, we need all this building material that we don't have at the moment. Again. And we've got, yeah, see, we're going to need a bunch of stuff for that. Stuff that I'm not even sure... That one might be iron or something. I'm not sure what it is. I really need to find... Oh, here. Global inventory. That's what I've been looking for. Hide items with zero quantity. Hide item categories. Sort alphabetically. Sort by item quantity. So there we can take a look and see what we have. Raw organic... There's a lot of stuff. All right. Well, I'm gonna. We'll just. We'll just leave that up there. I wish I could make it a little bit smaller. 
but if I open everything up, let's see, we don't have any tech. And I really don't think the seats are that important. We don't have any meals right now. Whoops. They are going to starve to death. So unless they get this thing... Oh, you did get it going. <gasps> okay, so we need power to that. And I don't know why I didn't occur to me that the pump was going to need power. Okay. Yes, get the power going. Get the power going. Get that last one. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Run, run, run. Don't stand there and scratch your nose. What are you doing? You're eating raw potatoes. Yes, okay. Now, <laughs> we can have cooked potatoes. Craft if below 100. Okay, now I need a cook. <laughs> Um, okay. So, well, let's take a look at our people. I guess, well, he's already doing enough stuff and she's like researching her little heart out. Um, I'm assuming I can't have him cook, can I? <laughs> can I get him to cook? Can you cook for me? No. No. All right, um, I don't know how much building he's actually doing. I he's the only one that's priority building. Uh, okay, he mines and she does too. Um, wonder if I should let's let him do a little bit of hauling for now. Um, let's instead of having oh, who are we gonna cook? Okay, I've got them all set up. I don't want them to do that. Let's have her do some cooking. Whoops. So hopefully what will happen is, is she'll get bored with... Um, let's, let's put this... We need some more bioplastic. We're going to do high priority on that one. And where do we have bioplastic? We're going to unpause that. Okay. It... Fertilizer. Oh, okay. Waiting for somebody to... I don't think... Yeah, we don't have fertilizer. Okay, well, it's interesting to know that we can do that. All right. Well, for now, we're cooking potatoes. Or at least we were cooking potatoes. How much do we have now? We have 98 raw potatoes. We have two cooked potatoes. Yes. <laughs> well, look, we can do fish and chips and fish sandwiches. Okay. Well, at least they've got some food now. Now we need to focus on... What the heck? A decor? For a nightstand and a plant pot. Well, you know what? <laughs> we'll worry about that later. We need to figure out what we're going to do with this coal generator. And I think that we're also going to have to call this an episode because we're running back up to time again. Um, where is coal generator? War refinery. I thought it would have been under power. Or under here. Biorefiner. Didn't we pick that? Oh, medical cabinet, a chair. We did pick that, right? <clears throat> Power storage. Coal power generator. Yeah. So I guess we're going to have to find that. And more power storage. 
All right, well. Yeah, I see that. We can we can do more stuff. But where? Elevator, water, condo. Oh, there it is. Coal generator. Requires a utility floor. So I guess, should we just put this out here, right? I mean, that makes sense. And we've got all these batteries out here. So we're just going to put it out here. And then we can run some power conduit from here right into that and I think we're gonna have to prioritize that one and he can keep that going and hopefully the next time we will have enough bioplastic that this thing actually gets built so I mean at least we're getting somewhere like I said we've hit this uh, wall here so this is the edge of the map up here which is fine and I think we've got a little ways to go before we hit the edge over here but you know we got some water so that pumps into there um, allowed items raw foods so cave worms I guess we'll just allow everything in there um, it's raw food so we're gonna make that one critical I think for raw food okay and then these ones are high priority I guess out here we'll keep those close and then we can get this stuff out of here it's a low priority I'm just afraid we're gonna lose the potatoes if I move them did I say put seeds in here I thought I wanted seeds over here. Yeah, I allow... I don't... I don't want bio waste in there. And I don't want raw food in there. The only thing I want... I don't want that in there. And I don't want seeds in there. Okay. And this one, I don't want anything in there. I want all that stuff taken out because I may build another one, but I may just move it over a little bit and then we can put some of that other stuff in it. I mean, I until I know what this bio waste is, probably not. And fauna. <laughs> we found a cave worm. An elongated and soft-bodied animal that is strikingly familiar to an ordinary earthen worm. The animal is commonly found in the underground waterways. We've generated as many research points as we can currently store. All right, so we're going to also have to send, spend some research points, um, but we will do that the next time. I don't know where we found the worm, but we found it. So there's that. <laughs> so we're going to end that here, and uh, we'll continue on the next time. We'll pick uh, some another research thing that we can do and hopefully oh can we have this up and running maybe hopefully we'll see we'll we'll take a look at that and see what to do with that so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time bye